All right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. Let's jump back into my test, not my test map, my single player save. Um, sorry about the little bit of a delay. I was getting the um, new links to the Patreon members. Oh, I do not want to delete that. Continue. Kind of remember where we left off, so we need to jump back in here and figure it out. Hope everyone is having an awesome day and a great start to their weekend. I'm probably not going to stream long today. I had a um, doctor's appointment this morning out of town to follow up on my surgery from three weeks ago and I'm super tired. I just want to go lay down and crawl in bed. Alright, we are loaded. Grab my speed mod. If I remember correctly, we had a contract going. Let me check on that. Here we are. So we are harvesting field 15. Let's hire a worker back. And let them finish up uh, 15. We got our tractor sitting over here doing nothing. I think our, we'll check on our two fields. Fishing boats are now purely decorative. So they're just that, just for your pleasure cruise. I had to take the fishing spots out of the water in order to make fishing work. And we can go over that in a little bit. We can jump into the test map and go over fishing. All right, it looks like I just have the two tractors. How are my two fields doing? So I only own fields one and two. So basically, in uh, new farmer mode, you'll own field one, two, these two meadows, and the coal mine, which is right here. And I sold the coal mine off and bought the silt mine instead because I am taking the silt and water, turning it into fertilizer to sell it for cash. So I should have this up and running now. And it is, and it'll have it on selling. So we're going to get paid by the hour for some fertilizer. So I have that running. We have 159000 I don't have much of anything else to sell. Let me price one of the stone pits. We'll have some money as soon as that contract's done. Let's go visit the stone pit for a minute. I think it's 75,000. It is. So that'll be, and then how much is a wash plant? So we can get a wash plant running. That'll be additional income. Fifty-five thousand. We have enough. The problem is I don't own any land over here to put it on. And I think our my loan is maxed out. So if I wanted to put it over here, yeah, that's ninety-three thousand. So it may end up hauling stone, or we can put this on distribute, and. It'll push the stone over into the wash plant. Why don't we do that? Let's buy the 75,000. Let's tell it to activate and let's tell it to take the stones and distribute them. So we just need to bring a little bit of diesel and a little bit of water over. So let's get the wash plant down. Let's get these out of my way. I'm just going to put the wash plant over here. We're going to need the tanker to get some water anyway. So let me get this guy parked here a second. I'm trying to earn some... Honda Teddy, hello! I'm trying to earn some early game cash. 
and I have a little bit of silt left, or do I? Nope, I just disconnected the uh, snow blower instead. Come on. Let's try that again. Yeah, I have some silt left. I don't think it's going to go in here, but we'll try and dump it off. So I just filled this. But we're going to need this trailer to um, empty our harvester. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to fit any more in here. I don't have enough money to buy the um, bulk warehouse. I'm just going to dump this in the silo for now. Alfred Prom, hello. Thanks for stopping in. I'm going to play a bit on the realist, my realistic save, and then I'll get y'all the links here shortly for the uh, map and the mod pack one. So no building today, no testing today. Just want to come in and play for a bit, release the map, and go lay down. And I'll be around to answer any questions. Alright, so let me drop the trailer. We're gonna have to buy we're gonna have to um buy a little bit of diesel to get us started. But let's throw one of the gold wash plants down. Turn my camera around. Throw this over here. Uh, is that going to give me enough? Yeah, that should give me plenty of room to get around there. We'll drop this here, and then we will we will activate it. We'll tell the washed stone to sell. I'm going to tell the clean fill to distribute. Now we're going to tell the gold to sell. So we'll have the herb, we have, so I have fertilizer running and it's on selling. So we're going to get paid cash um, per hour on fertilizer just because I need the cash early game. The stone pit, we're going to tell it to move the stones over to the wash plant. We're going to sell the washed stone because they're double the price of regular stone and we'll just sell the gold. So we'll have a little bit of cash coming in as soon as we get that fired up. So it needs water and diesel. Now if you go to your price list, I've neutered the prices of your mining material so you're not going to make like a billion dollars your first couple days in the map. So your coal, you're only going to get like $20 per 1,000 liters. Uh, your sand, you're only going to get like $20 per thousand liters. Uh, your washed stone, you're going to get $3,700 per thousand liters. So take your stone and wash it. And then the same thing with your gold, you're going to get like $3,900 per thousand liters. So let's grab some water and we'll have to buy a little bit of diesel to get that started. And we'll have some cash coming in as soon as we finish our contract. So I'm just trying to come up with ways of... I'm going to drop this snowblower over here just to get it out of my way. But I'm trying to come up with ways of making early game cash. And so far it was silage bales. And I think fertilizer might be the way to go. But I could be wrong because fertilizer... Let's go back to our price list a minute. Oop, wrong one. Fertilizer, where are we? If I can find it in the price list. I may not have put it in the price list. Yeah, I don't think I put it in here.
Yep, I forgot to add it to the price list. So I'll get that on the next update. But it will automatically sell. But I don't think it's going to show us the price. Yeah, see, even your crude oil is not going to sell for that much. It's only $200. But your diesel, if you turn it to diesel, diesel should sell well as well. You should be able to get some cash for diesel. Yeah, you're going to get like $3,000 per um, thousand liters on your fuel as well. Paul W., hello. Appreciate everybody stopping in. I'll get you all the links soon. I'm not going to stream long. I'm not feeling well, so I'm going to go lay down. Dixie's going to try and stream tonight. But she is not home at the moment. She's got some... I had some real-life stuff going on this morning. She's got some real-life stuff going on now. And then she should be back after dinner. Or around dinner time. Oh, see, the house was quiet for the last two hours, but I was laying down, and now someone's coming home. That's just my luck. Uh, let's get some water in here. I'll grab two loads of water and we'll grab a little bit of diesel to get it started. Oh, we need to get the stone pit up. We need to get the stone pit up and running too. I forgot about that. Or this, yeah, the stone pit. It needs water and diesel also. <clears throat> we need that running before I need get this running. So let's run a little water back there. May not be able to buy some diesel until um, we finish that contract. Held man fertilizer is oh was it just below strawberries? Did I miss it? I'm complete. I'm half blind to begin with. Below strawberries. Oh, there you go. So forty six hundred. And 3500 So you're going to get a decent amount of money for making fertilizer and selling it. And I think the mechanics work where you get paid on the hour from your factories. Yeah, let's run a load of water back there. Can't afford a bigger truck yet, for or a bigger tanker yet. We'll have to buy a little bit of diesel just to get the stone pit up and running. We'll buy more diesel later until we start making some. And then before I release the um, links, I'll go into our, my test map and I'll go over fishing. Because so I had to change the way fishing was done from my original video that I did the map tour with. So the first file, you're going to have two downloads. One's the map and all the vehicles. Unzip the first file. Keep everything inside zipped. The second download is going to be Mod Pack 1. It's going to have a bunch of placeable factories in it. They will only work on my map. They will not work on anybody else's map. Um, unzip the first file. Keep everything inside zipped. And a word of caution. All those non-Richie factories you see on like modhub.us and the other modding sites will conflict with this map. So I recommend not using any of the non-Richie factories. We are hard at work getting you as many factories built as we can. So just give us time 
to get some factories built. Somebody sent me their log yesterday and it's full of um, all kind of errors because they were using all those factories from uh, modhub.us. Alright, let's go grab a little bit of diesel. I can't buy too much. We only have 28,000. I think my loan's maxed out. Is the map already released? Shortly. Give me time to stream and tease y'all for a little bit. Yeah, towards, at, towards the end of my stream I'll get y'all the links. And then you have, um, you'll have all weekend to break the map. Now, Dixie did her awesome job on testing. You're going to get one error in the log. It's a fishing warehouse DDS um, error. Um, a, a warning, I believe, not even an error. And that'll be fixed on version 1.2. It'll be fixed on the next map update. But it's nothing game-breaking, won't affect performance. It just won't load one uh, DDS file. gas station over here. I'm going to um, I'm just going to grab a little bit of diesel. We'll check on our harvester see how close we are on that contract. Yeah, I'll, what I'm going to do instead of jumping on my test map, I'll jump in a new save and I'll show you all what you get in new farmer mode in the way of uh, vehicles, um, farmlands, and equipment. And then I'll go over fishing from there on a new save just so y'all know it's a little bit confu confusing in 22 than it was in 19 only because I couldn't get the fishing boat to do what I wanted it to do and I said to hell with it and I made the fishing boat a pleasure cruise only so your fishing boat is literally just a pleasure cruise alright so let me try and get some diesel without going over like $28,000 well that didn't well, 8,000 liters will get us started. So it should be enough to fire up the stone pit. I won't get the stone... I won't get the wash plant running yet until we earn some cash. I think I already have like a half a million dollar loan or six hundred or a million dollar loan. I've already known I've maxed my loan out. Yeah, I'll jump in a nuke save game, do a little bit of a map tour. Answer any questions y'all might have. And I'll get you the link so you can play with it the rest of the weekend. But it's... What I have found, searching on the various mod sites, it's pretty much slim pickings in the way of maps and mods for 22. And half the mods out there are crap and throw errors. Why am I not seeing any more? Oh, oh there it is. Okay. I was going to say, I didn't see my harvester running, but I guess it is running.
and then eventually when we have more cash we'll buy the other stone pit and we'll get the stone processing plant up and running So that should fire this up. We've got enough diesel in here to get us started. So it's going to start making stones. It's going to push them to the um, stone processing plant, but we don't or the wash plant. We don't have the wash plant up and running because we don't have any diesel. Where's our combine at? Combine in field. I think eleven. No, 15. He's only about halfway across that field, so he's got we got a ways to go on that contract. We need to earn some more cash. I'm going to need to pop my head out here in a second and say hello to the family since they came home. There was no one home when I got back from my doctor's appointment. Then I laid down for an hour. And I definitely want to go lay back down. So we just we still need a little bit of diesel to get the wash plant up and running. That'll make us washed stone, which will get us more cash and gold. Uh, I've got. Let's see. I'm gonna leave this here as well because we'll be using this shortly again. Drop that there. Let's grab let's grab this guy again. Let's grab our mower. So the this mower and the slower baler is in the download with the map. But since we own this, we might as well take advantage of the cash. Oh, you know what? Let me just do a U-turn instead of trying to back this thing up. Alright. That's better. Let me get the mower on. Let's get the baler on. Okay, I thought I had the mower on. Now I gotta back up again. Oh, helps if I lower it. It is, it is slow, it only runs at six miles an hour. It's still a work in progress, but it's gonna get me some more cash. It gives us something to do while we have absolutely nothing to do.
trying to turn this corner slow so I don't miss any of the grass. We own the grass around the field, we might as well take advantage of it. So we can buy enough diesel to put in the uh, gold wash plant. Anybody have any big weekend plans? I'm going to sit home and do nothing this weekend. Still not feeling 100%. Tomorrow morning I'm going to try and get two... Um, that's a lot of grass between the fields. It is. That's a, this is green gold. So yeah, tomorrow morning I'm going to try and get two uh, YouTube videos recorded, edited, rendered, and uploaded. So I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow. I may just chill and just sit back and play some of my other games. I don't get a chance to play that often. Yeah, I purposely left a lot of grass around the field so you can either expect Grab your plow, make them bigger yourself, or give you enough grass to do a silage operation. Or, you know, TMR, feed your sheep. Uh, I was going to do stuff, but now I'm stuck at home due to the virus, so I'm going to play FS22 nice. You'll have this map to play with here shortly, so I'm going to get you all the links. Nope, missed a little bit of grass on the turn. That's yeah, alright. Get it next time. Is my harvester? Yeah, my harvester still still running. That's his somebody's in a driveway bark. Or the cat's on the porch bark. Uh, Honda Tate, you going to play my map? Nice. 
Yeah, I'm going to probably play, I'm going to, like I said, I've got to get, I've got two videos to record for YouTube. Um, um, my Saturday series on YouTube, um, Automation Empire, ended last week, so I'm going to, replacing that with Tavern Master. And then, I've been fighting with the devs over a game called Against the Storm, because every time they do an update, they wipe your save out, so you have to start over. So in the last four weeks, I've had three restarts. So I may go back and record one or two of my episodes of Against the Storm. But then I'm just going to sit back and play a little bit of Vintage Story off camera. The map sounds need to be worked out a little bit, but that's something I can do be between now and the next update. You get this odd horn honking for no reason every once in a while. So I'll get that sorted out. But Mod Pack 2 is coming along. That'll be released about two weeks from now, as soon as we get a couple more things thick, finished and tested. So Mod Pack 2 will have the orchards, the greenhouses, um, the dairy, so the in-game dairy, sped up, plus sour cream and whipped cream. And then the produce storage, produce warehouse, um, so you can store all your products from the the orchards and greenhouses in it. Sassy one, a good afternoon. I'll get you all the links here shortly. Awesome. Subscribe tier once for six months. I thank you very much. Much appreciated. Now, if Twitch will just pay me, we'll be all right. I haven't gotten anything from them in three months. I've been fighting with them as well. Yeah, I know. It's because my... I think it's because my PayPal had a security breach and I had to change my... all my information on PayPal. And I don't... I think I forgot to put the new login or the new link to PayPal in my Twitch account. I gotta go back in and check that.
turn them mower off a second till I get turned back around. That should do it. And did I forget to lower it? I probably forgot to lower it. Oh, I turned it off. Hold on. Let me turn that back on. Let me turn that back on. I turned the wrong I turned the baler off instead of turning the mower on. I'm not sure um, what map Dixie's going to stream from tonight. I'm not sure if it's going to be her single player save or if it's going to be the server with her and Bill. But if she's um, up to it tonight, she sent me a message earlier that she's going to try and stream. I think she's going to show you her approach, how she's going to make money on the map, which is different than my approach on making money on the map. I'm gonna. I may play around with this baler a little bit more this weekend and try and get it sped up just a little bit more, so we can if we can get it running at like double its speed now, about 10 or 12 miles an hour, that would be, or 12 to 15 miles an hour, that would be awesome. But the problem is getting the timing right between the pickup, the bail, the unload, the wrap, and the discharge. There's four different timings that you have to get worked out. So they all work in sync with each other. And that's the issue that I've been having is trying to get it all synced together where it runs properly at like 12 or 15 miles an hour. Ten eighteen. Happy Friday. Get you all the links soon. Yeah, so Mod Pack 2 is almost ready. Not quite ready. So about two weeks from now, we'll have Mod Pack 2 ready. So that, like I said, orchards, greenhouses, dairy, and produce storage. And I'm already working on Mod Pack 3, which will be the grain mill. So it'll make flour, corn meal, the sugar house, uh, we'll do sugar and molasses. Um, I took the raisin factory out of the ma map, renamed it the drying house. We're going to do raisins, banana chips, and dried cherries. And we're going to take the oil press, the oil mill, out of the map, and we'll get that customized and add more products to it. So those four will be part of Mod Pack 3.
So this will get us a little bit more cash. How's the harvester doing? Almost done. Couple more passes. So we'll have a little bit more cash there from our contract on field 15. Really don't get schooled down here. Uh, let schools out for snow. And it was not snowing right now. They do the same thing in Pennsylvania. They panic when there's a uh, forecast. My sister teaches school in Pennsylvania, and uh, the uh, school districts are so afraid of a school bus getting into an accident and it's getting sued that as soon as uh, they get a snowflake, they're uh, canceling school and going doing um, <laughs> either a snow day or uh, uh, distance learning. We're going to make that money, we're just going to spend every penny of it. So I need to buy a full load of diesel so I can run it between the two factories. But I'm going to see if we can get paid at the top of the hour from our uh, two factories we have running. Well, I guess technically we only have one factory running. We didn't get the wash plant up and running yet. But we should get a little bit of cash at the top of the hour for selling our fertilizer off. But yeah, when you get the map, you run into any issues, I'll be on Facebook um, pretty much the rest of the night, just in case anybody has any questions. 
So make sure you have your part of our Facebook group. If not, grab the link really quick and join our Facebook group. I don't Dixie hangs out in Discord. I don't like Discord personally, so I don't use it. So if you type in, if you're not part of our Facebook group, just type in exclamation point Facebook, you'll get the link. Make sure you answer the questions or you'll automatically get declined. We won't even see the application. Farm chick is still under the weather. So she's not been around. But our contract should almost be done as well by the time we get this last strip of grass cut. Let's get this guy shut off and folded. Let's get our mower turned off. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. Our harvest our harvester is finished. Uh, liking the map of what I have played on it, nice. Yeah, I've really not had any complaints on any issues, errors, other than the one texture warning. Uh, like I said, that'll be fixed the next update. Let's go grab our trailer, take care of that contract. Bear with me one second till I pop my head out. Um, give me, I'll be right back. Alright, looks like she came home and took off again. So I am back home alone with the dog and the cat. Uh, let's get this contract taken care of. Then I got a mess of bales to clean up.
there you go. Awesome. There's the link to the Facebook group. Much appreciated. If you have any issues with the downloads, the how, what to unzip, what not to unzip, I'll be around for questions all night. I'll get you the link you see here shortly. I think the next upgrade I'm going to go for is this tractor. Come on. I need a new Xbox One control and I don't want to spend $100. So I don't like the generic ones. So I need an actual real Xbox One control. Left joystick's messed up and the down arrow's messed up. I have one generic one I can use as a backup if I really need to. But you got some nice big flat fields on here. I hate hilly fields. I hate hilly maps. It's not my play style. Get that tractor. Uh, love the generic ones, last forever and don't cost much. Only downside is they're wired. Yeah, I mine's wired into my tower. So I have mine wired into my computer tower. But I just, I don't know, it, it has a different feel to it. I've been using this one forever. I'm just not a fan of the generic ones. Pipe in. Get this folded up. 
Not sure where we're going to take it next. We'll see if there's another harvesting contract. We'll keep it busy. All right, where does this have to go? I can't remember what sell point this contract was for. We are taking it to the farmer's market. Farmer's market's in the center of the map near the water tower. But I keep getting asked if I'm going to make a 16x map, and I'm not sure yet. Sixteen X in single player to me is just a little bit hard to play on. All right, how much are we gonna get for the extra crop? There we go, 134,000 for the extra crop, plus, what do we get for the contract? Another 63,000, I can live with that. We have any more harvesting contracts? Field 14, which is a small field, field 22 is massive. May take the contract in 14. Our harvester is almost back there anyway. What is it? Oop, wrong one. Wheat. We got the correct header. We might as well knock that one out as well. Let's just take that contract. And we'll come back. Uh, let's get this guy back to the house a minute and then we'll uh, go move our harvester over. Doesn't get me anywhere near paying our loan back. <laughs> All right, we're three minutes away from the top of the hour. I want to see if we get paid for fertilizer. I'm going to try and keep an eye on the uh, notification if it pops up. All right, where's my harvester? Let's get you to the next field. Yeah, this is a small field. This contract should go pretty quick. Um, is that super fast wrapper available? It is. It's uh, part of mod. It's it's in the uh, it's in the download with the map, the mower and the uh, wrapper. We'll go over the day. Uh, we'll go over the map download and mod pack one here in a second.
I just got home, didn't catch you earlier. I was gone all morning. I had a doctor's appointment. So I've only been on for an hour. We'll get all the links here shortly. But while the house is quiet, I'm going to stream for a little bit. Alright, let him do his thing. So we have... Oh, we got paid at the top of the hour, but I didn't see how much it was. But we're almost, we have almost a million dollars now. So how much is my loan? $800,000. I don't want to pay it all back yet. I'll wait till we get paid again at the top of the hour. Then I'll pay my loan back. Um, so that's awesome. See, now we can go buy some more diesel and get my other, our other factories up and running properly. I wish I would. I'll have to go back and watch my Twitch stream. I, I missed the notification. I don't know how much we got paid at the top of the hour. But let's go buy a load of diesel. And we can get the wash plant over here running. Well, I think I may even make it a little bit easier for us, since we have a little bit of cash. Let's get a load of diesel first. And I may buy a, another small piece of property and put two warehouses down. Let's grab some diesel first. Now I'm going to spend a good bit of cash because I want almost a hundred thousand, or almost, uh, yeah, I want almost a hundred thousand liters. So that should get us, yeah, so I just spent $276,000 on diesel, but it's all good. How much is a little piece of property? I know I own some property, but I want to see what the little piece of property is across from fields 8 and 9. Okay, 131000 We're going to buy that. So let's head back over there. And I'll probably cut it and bail it. But I want to get a couple things down. Yeah, I'll probably cut this and bail it. And we'll get the other bales off the map. I want... Now be careful, there's two different categories. If you go under silos, there's the... Let me turn my camera around. So under silos, you have the grain silo now this one you have to manually put stuff in and manually take it out. And you have the liquid storage. This one you have to manually put the liquids in and manually take the liquids out. That one will, these two will not auto distribute. If you go under production and you put down the bulk warehouse, this one will auto distribute your product to the next factory that needs it. So I want to throw, and I think this is one-sided, it is. So I'm going to throw this down. I want to get it back here close to the water. So I want to get this down. So we could start putting stuff in and have it auto-distribute. And then the liquid warehouse also will... Um, auto distribute your product to the next factory that needs it. I want to get these two down so we can start using them and don't have to haul product around. 
So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to change every single one to distribute. So this will hold every bulk good you should be able to need for other production. And I think it'll hold like 20 million liters of each product. So I'm trying to go where my map is completely self-sufficient, where I don't have to haul product around. And it will take every one of these and we'll activate them. So if we harvest soybeans and we put the soy milk factory down, all we can do is dump our soybeans in here and it'll push it to the next factory that needs it. And if we set the soy milk factory to auto distribute, it'll take the milk and push it to the next factory that needs it. So I'm doing lazy farming in 22, or I should say I'm doing lazy hauling in 22. And then I'm going to take our liquid warehouse, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take it and we're going to change every bit of it to distribute. And then we won't have to haul. So I'm going to dump the diesel in here and it'll automatically push it to the next. It'll push it to the, the stone pits and it'll push it to the um, wash plant for us. and we'll activate these. Alright, so that's that taken care of. So now we don't have to worry about hauling bulk goods around. We shouldn't have to haul too many liquids around. So that'll push our diesel to the next couple factories that need it. I'm going to throw probably two loads of water in here real quick. Until we start making our own water. And eventually I'll get a bigger truck than this little tanker.
you know, once we own, once we get Mammoth Mill up and running, where it's making drill pipe, we'll buy the oil well. So it'll start making um, crude oil. And then we'll buy the refinery, where it starts making diesel and plastic. And then the, the refinery also makes hydrogen and oxygen, which then we could put the water factory down and not have to worry about buying water and hauling it around. So it'll automatically make our water for us and distribute it where it needs to go other than your... The only place it won't go are your animal pens. But this should be enough to keep those factories going for a while. So if you want some early game cash and you don't want to earn it, I sold off the coal mine, I bought the silt mine, I put the fertilizer factory down and I have it turned on selling. And it's making me a bunch of cash. Now I'm going to put two more fertilizer factories down. I'm going to leave that one on selling. I'm going to put one more down. I'm going to put it on storing so I can fill my... Um, my own um, implements with it and I'm going to put a third one down and I'm going to put it on distributing so it'll push the fertilizer into the seed maker and I won't have to move the fertilizer from the fertilizer factory into the seed maker so eventually I'll have three fertilizer factories running Drop this guy. Oh, not yet. I was going to pick the bales up. There's one more thing I want to do first. And that's not what I wanted to do. I, want, I, I wanted to go around the barn the other way. I want to grab one more load of silt and throw it in the warehouse so it automatically distributes it for me. I want to get that load. I want to get that silt out of here before I forget about it. So it doesn't need to be sitting in this silo. I just needed to empty my tipper earlier. Let's get that silt out of here. Yeah, I probably won't even use the silo. I may even sell the silo off. Let's go top this tipper off.
So the snowblower is in the mod pack with the map also. Turn it off. Let me get the pipe down so it doesn't blow it out <laughs> as soon as I pull it away as soon as I pull away. And we'll throw this in the bulk warehouse and it'll automatically push it into the uh, fertilizer factory for us. Eventually I'll get that loan paid back. But I'm gonna get out of here shortly. I'm gonna get you all the links. I'll go over I'll jump in a new save game, I'll give you a quick map tour. We'll go over the map links and then I'm gonna get out of here and let y'all play. Let me get the snowblower back out first. And we'll get it unloaded. How's our contract doing? Almost there. So I should have enough silt for a while, we'll have to scoop any more up. I didn't see my uh, wheat going up, so I thought my harvester was stuck, but it's still running. It must have been turning around. So many more passes does that have? A couple more passes.
I'm going to drop the snowblower off and then we're going to need one of our this tipper to uh, unload the harvester with. Eventually I'll get those couple of pallets of uh, fertilizer off the map. Alright, let's drop. Snowblower there. And then this will be ready to empty our harvester. As soon as that contract's done, I'll get out of here, I'll get y'all, I'll go into my, I'll go into a new save game, give you a little tour, go over the mod packs, and I'll get you the links. Got an email with two links. Are they with the... Uh, yeah, that's everything updated, Cowboy Mikes. Um, I, again, just download both links. Um, unzip them, put every, just replace everything in your mods folder and they all work with an existing save. This way you'll have the latest and greatest of everything. Is the mining equipment in there also? The snowblower is in there. And the brooks all in one is in there. I'll go over those in I'll go over what's in each download here in a minute. As soon as that contract is done. So I want to get out of here and go lay down for a little while. I don't have a bale storage built. I'm probably not going to build a bale storage for 22, but I've seen some on the other modding sites. If I do anything, it'll be uh, bales in and bulk out. like we had in 19 
there is a bale storage uh, in the end game. Yeah, I think there is. I normally don't do bales and store them. The only reason I'm doing the silage bales is because it's quick cash. You can get about fifteen thousand dollars per load if you go this route with your uh, silage. I thought I put that in um, operating mode. I did or travel mode. Uh, we'll go check in that harvester here in a second. Let's check on that harvester. Are you done? Look, oh, are you, did you decide you wanted to go home? You decided you wanted to go home. Must be Miller time. It's happy hour somewhere, apparently. You unfolded. I miss my uh, cameo harvester and header from nineteen. I'm hoping iconic um, converts that over from nineteen to twenty two. Yeah, these four fields back here, you can, if you purchase them, you can combine these four fields together. So 11, 12, 13, and 14, you can plow them together. Oh, excuse me. All right, let's get let's get this guy down here and get our tipper. Oh, 
I'll probably not now, but I'll probably end up taking uh, that last harvesting contract if it's still available next time we stream. Probably just leave this guy parked here. Let's go get that tipper. And these two fields here, eight and nine, you can, again, you can plow these two together if you wish. Jump in here, and then what cell point we go into? We are go oh, wrong one. We are going to the farmers market again. Come on, there we go. Off to the farmer's market. Uh, we must have gotten paid again because I don't remember having $413,000. Not complaining. I'll take the cash. Um, has anyone used autoplay on the map, and if so, does it create sensible routes from the traffic splines? Somebody in chat I can help answer that. I do not use auto drive, I do not use course play, I do not use GPS, so I can't answer that. So maybe someone in chat can. So right now only my Patreon members have the map, so I'm not sure how many of them are here now. Uh, where are we going? We're not putting this in storage. we got to take this to the farmer's market, and we're not going to finish this contract. So we would have got 52,000 and 23,000, not a bad payday. So another 75 grand. All 
Oh, that means we could buy the other stone pit. The other stone pit, I think, is 75000 But let me get out of here. Let me go over a couple things with you. Let me get you all the links. Uh, so let's do a game save. Get you out to my um, desktop. I'll go over what's in each download. I'll give you a quick tour of the map. Uh, show you what we get in new farmer mode. Uh, go over fishing with you. And then... Um, I'll get you all the links. So in the map itself, so the first download is going to be the map. It's going to be the um, fast mower, the Brooks all in one, uh, the DB120 cedar, the bunker cleaner, uh, the limit break mod, so we can go over the base game limits. It's going to be the um, tanker I was using and the truck. So the truck and tanker is in there. The uh, rope pack. So the the smaller tiger. Uh, where is it? The rope. Oh, wrong one. So this one for your root crops which will do carrots, or you can go to Papa Smurf's website and download the um, T440 and triple wide. There's, If you want to go old school on the mining products, there's a modded bucket that holds half a million liters that you can use on a front loader. Uh, no, I'm sorry, tally handler. So the bucket's in there, the fast baler's in there, and then you're going to need this truck for fishing. So this truck holds earthworms and fish, so you'll need this truck for fishing. So that's in the first download. So unzip the first file, keep everything else inside zipped. And then the second download is going to be the bulk warehouse, um, a diesel fill station, the fertilizer factory, the grain silo, the grass dryer, liquid storage, which acts, that one's manual in and manual out. The grain silo is manual in and manual out. And then you have your liquid warehouse, which will auto distribute for you. Pallet warehouse, seed maker, soy milk factory, uh, water fill station, and then the waterworks factory. And that one takes your hydrogen and oxygen and turns it into water. So that's Mod Pack 1. Unzip the first file. Keep everything else inside zipped. And now let me go over fishing with y'all and I'll get you the links. What should be the version number? The map is going to be version 1.1. So let's jump into a new save. I'm going to go new farmer mode so I can show you what you get um, in new farmer mode in the way of farmlands and equipment. I'm going to cheat some money in so I can show you all the fishing. And I'll get you the links. I'll go, oh, I'm going to get out of here and go lay down. So you're getting version 1.1 of the map. I'm already working on 1.2 because I'm working on the next set of factories. So I'm already one step ahead of you. All right. uh, I'm not going to save this game, but let me just take it down to uh, one speed. So it doesn't get dark on us. So in new farmer mode, you are going to get field one, field two, and then the both meadows by the starting farm and the coal mine. Um, I've increased the price of land from the first version. So the little meadow over here, 131,000. Field 8, 365,000. 395,000. If you go a little bit bigger, 400,000. 
a million dollars, seven hundred thousand, se almost seven hundred thousand. And if you get into these really big fields like seventeen and ten, um, four million, and three and a half million. Now your your starting equipment in new for the map, um, the JCB fast track, two of the Fent 1050s, uh, case axle flow 7150, small tipper to get you started, grain header, corn header, plow, cultivator, the smaller in-game seeder, a roller, um, a set of sprayers, a fertilizer spreader for your lime and then your front loader for the JCB and your header trailer. So that's your starting equipment. Uh, let me grab some cash and then let me go over the fishing and then I'm going to get out of here. I'll get you the links. Fishing's done a little bit different since the map was built or after the map was built, they had to make a change. All right, so let me throw some cash in here. And then let me buy. Now you don't need to buy. Actually, let me not buy the land. You should not need to buy the land to do fishing, but you do have to buy the fishing spots now. So fishing spot one, they're twenty-five thousand dollars each. So you're going to have to buy the fishing spots, and there's five of them. You don't have to buy all five. If you want to just run one, you can. But I'm going to buy all five. So you have to buy each. There's five individual spots. And then you have to buy the Earthworm Factory. So the Earthworm Factory is here. So it's 75000 You need, you don't need it, but you should need it. I would buy the warehouse. This holds your extra fish and it holds your extra earthworms. So 117000 and then you need fish processing to get all of your fishing up and running. And you're also going to need, to get fish processing running, you're going to need the ice house and empty crates. So in order to make the ice house, you're going to need the, refine, the oil well running, the refinery running, so you can make plastic and sacks. Sacks are made at Mammoth Mill, so you're going to need empty sacks. And then you're going to have to put the ice house down and make ice cubes. You'll also need empty crates. And they're made at the carpentry mill. And in order to make crates, you need mammoth mill running. So it's going to take you a little bit to make ice cubes and crates. So it's going to take you a little bit to do fishing. But let me grab my uh, store delivery mod. And let me grab um, a tipper and a tractor real quick. Oh, back. And then let me, uh, I'll answer any questions you have and I'll get you all the links. Uh, let me just, I'm not going to save this save game anyway. Alright, so you need clean fill and compost in order to make earthworms. So you're going to need the composter running. And then clean fill. Every mine makes clean fill. The stone processing plant makes clean fill. And the gold wash plant makes clean fill. So you're going to need clean fill and you're going to need compost. So 
clean fill, dump a load of that in here. We will leave the screen that shows the covered bridges. Yeah, I'm not going to change the map picture. That that's a pain in the butt to make. So I'm going to leave the map opening photo alone. I did have to take the covered bridges out because we just couldn't get the big equipment over them, and it just became a pain to drive all the way around. I mean, eventually down the road, I can update the. Uh, picture the opening screen for the map, but I'm not going to mess with it. Alright, that should be enough for testing. That was clean. Let me grab a little bit of compost. Get enough in here for testing. Or not testing for... Um, so I can show you all if you want to manually fish. So if you want to manually fish, leave it on storing and then make sure it's active. And then the same thing with your fishing spots. There are your five fishing spots. If you want to manually fish, leave it on storing. If you don't want to manually fish, then change everything to distributing. But I'll show you what you need to do to manually fish. So let me get this guy out of the triggers. Now, if the boat is now just purely decoration. So if you want to use the boat, you could just take it for a pleasure cruise. But I could not get the triggers to work in the water with the boat. And I spent about eight hours on it and I finally said to hell with it. So let's forward a little bit of time till we get some earthworms in storage. Alright, back to one speed. Alright, now if you want to manually fish, you're going to need the new truck. So this little guy, I'm not taking credit for it, so the original mod author is getting credit for it. I just made it work with the map. It will only haul fish and earthworms. It won't haul anything else. And you do have to um, open the cover. So you grab this guy, come over here, and load up your earthworms. And then you can take your earthworms to your fishing spots. Unfortunately, which are the driveway of the houses. Maybe a future update I can get the fishing boat running, but right now I can't get the fishing boat running. So right now this is the only way I can get fishing done. So you have to bring your earthworms here to the house and drop them off. It'll only take 10,000 liters. So drop 10,000 liters off at each house. And 
Now, if you have extra earthworms in your truck, you're not going to be able to pick up the fish, or so you're going to have to empty your truck because it won't hold two fill types at the same time. So now you can take your truck and take it to the warehouse and empty your extra earthworms. So your warehouse is here, it'll hold your fish and it'll hold earthworms. So drop off your extra earthworms here, empty your truck. And then you can also you can also refill them here as well. So you can fill your fish here, you can fill your extra earthworms back up right here. And then you can go back and pick up your fish. So let's forward time a little bit. So our earthworms have a chance to our fishing spots have a chance to work. So you can, now you, you should be now make sure your truck's empty and then you can go back and pick up your fish. Think of it as the people living in those houses are fishermen and they're doing their fishing for you. So just come back up here and you'll be able to pick up your fish. So start filling. I'm not going to empty all five, but I'll get a. I'll grab two of them. I'll grab two out of the five. So just fill up your fish, and then you could take them either to the warehouse or to the fish processing factory. Leave the picture like it is. It's perfect. All right, yeah, I can do that. There, that that picture is a pain in the butt to make. But yeah, like I said, you can drop your extra fish off right here if your fish processing plant is full, and it'll store your fish for you, or you could take it directly to fish processing. And then you just have to add your ice cubes in your empty crates. And then your pallets will spawn out. If you leave it on storing and not distributing or selling, all of your pallets will spawn out along here. Anybody else have any questions for me before I jump out of here and get you all the links? Let me, um, let me throw you all on. Be right back. Uh, what do you use to for the drill pipe to deliver them? Right now, the auto load truck will not work with drill pipe, steel, pallets, and nails until I get with Papa Smurf and we get the auto load trailer. We have to add all the the auto load trailer has to be rebuilt for those specific specific fill types. So right now, you're going to have to manually move them or just turn it on distributing. Um, because it's going to take us a full day to add all of the um, all of the visibility nodes into the trailer, and then do all the XML work in order to get the trailer to pick up the drill pipe, the steel, the pallets, and the nails. So I do apologize for that, but I have no choice. All right, let me get into my Mega account, and I'll get you all the links. So yeah, the, the auto load trailer is still a work in progress. I just haven't had time to get with Papa Smurf and put all the visibility nodes in. All right, that one, the, this link is the map and all the vehicles. And then that one is Mod Pack 1. 
so I'm going to throw you all on ending soon. So the first link is map and vehicle, second link is mod pack one. I'm going to have these on, as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to put them on the Trello board and Facebook. But appreciate everybody stopping in. Have fun with the map. Um, exclamation point. Facebook. Um, if you're not in our Facebook group, join it. I'll be there if you, to answer any questions. And then exclamation point maps will get you to the Trello board. In case you missed the links, you can get them from the Trello board. And then on the Trello board is a link to PayPal me and to my Patreon. If you want to join, a, uh, become one of my Patreon members. Patreon members get everything for a week before it's released. So like Mod Pack 2, the Patreon members will get it for a week before it's released. Mod Pack 3, same thing. So everything we, we release, the Patreons get it for a week first. Sassy one, awesome work as usual. Everyone have a good night and have fun on the map. No one's going to sleep. They're going to be playing the map all night. But and if there's no other questions, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have an awesome night and an awesome weekend. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream or not this weekend. Download complete. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have an awesome weekend.